The Hulk World War could form the basis for a new Avengers part within Marvel. A severe war is brewing over the agenda, wondering if it will repeat the failure of Madam Web. The last few days have delighted us with a large number of interesting news triggers. And let's start, perhaps, with the main thing. Authoritative journalist Jeff Snyder confirmed that the filming process of Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland starts this autumn. This once again confirms that Sony and Marvel have come to a mutual agreement regarding the film's narrative direction, and now we are likely to get grounded adventures of the friendly neighbor who confronts Wilson Fisk's criminal empire portrayed by Vincent D'Onofrio. Also, according to this information, the studio is considering the director of five parts of Fast and Furious, Justin Lin, as well as Drew Goddard, one of the scriptwriters of Headhunters from Netflix. In short, expect more details about the plot, cast, and release date soon, so follow our channel to not miss anything. In the film business, meanwhile, a fascinating situation is unfolding. One of Disney's investors, Nelson Peltz, harshly criticized the company's management policy for its attempts to push the agenda through its projects. To substantiate, let's quote a real statement. Why should I participate in creating a Marvel film where the entire cast consists of women? Don't think I have anything against women, but just why should I do this? Why can't I have a balanced Marvel? Why do I need an entirely black cast? The investor also noted that he has many questions regarding the professional skills of Kevin Feige, hinting that the head of Marvel Studios should leave his position. Currently, a kind of civil war is going on within Disney for positions on the company's board of directors, and Nelson Peltz claims two of them. However, for us, it's only important to know that the businessman is a longtime comrade of the former head of Marvel, Ike Perlmutter, and also has a more conservative view of how films should be made. According to some data, if Nelson gets a career promotion, he will try to return his friend to the previous position, getting rid of Kevin Feige with his curatorship of the cinematic universe. We will closely monitor the situation. Recently, there has been a lot of information about the fifth part of the Avengers Online. Some claim that we are waiting for the adaptation of the cult comic arc Avengers vs. X-Men, while others remain with the position that we will immediately move to Secret Wars, which in theory will represent a major crossover. Added to this is another interesting rumor. As insider Casey Walsh claims, the upcoming crossover will be based on the World War Hulk storyline. Supposedly, the studio plans to create a confrontation-level project that aims to unite the current Earth's heroes into one team before the upcoming threat of Kang the Conqueror. Insider Alex Perez from the Cosmic Circus confirms this, adding that this project is definitely not a solo for the Green Giant. At first glance, the mentioned information seems too dubious, considering our Bruce Banner has found peace and harmony and hardly seems like a character who could turn into a wild beast at the snap of a finger. If we refer to the comics, the hero's main motivation to go to war on Earth stemmed from the desire to avenge the death of his wife and the inhabitants of Sakaar, of which he became the ruler in the Planet Hulk storyline. The source heavily relies on the Green Giant being an uncontrollable threat feared and despised by the whole world, including the Avengers themselves. Within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and even more so Bruce Banner himself, this background was completely lost, and to be able to return the hero to the original stage would require a really good justification and, most importantly, additional projects that cleverly unfold this story. Of course, one could always speculate that Hulk loses his mind due to some magic, another additional personality, or the death of his sister and son, but considering the upcoming release schedule, such is clearly not expected in the near projects. On the other hand, as often happens, Marvel may completely rethink the storyline and instead of the incredible Hulk we know, make a completely new Gamma Monster the main antagonist. We know that in Captain America 4, the return of the leader, played by Tim Blake Nelson, is expected and if we refer to the comics, the villain is known as the main lover of creating various gamma monsters to enslave the entire planet. Also, do not forget that the Red Hulk debuts in the film, and this character by nature clearly does not seem like someone who would rush headlong to protect the Earth. The studio might well present a free interpretation of the cult comic arc with the main villain leader who creates an army of gamma mutants, which would be an excellent reason to announce a general gathering of all Earth's heroes. Also, this would be a promising opportunity to allow Hulk, played by Mark Ruffalo, to lead the Avengers, thereby paying tribute to him as one of the original team members. Whether this is the case or not, we will find out soon, as, according to preliminary information, Marvel Studios will definitely attend events such as Comic-Con in San Diego and the D23 Expo. According to insiders, it is at these events that we can expect an updated schedule of projects, 
unexpected announcements, and a first look at series about Agatha, Headhunter, and the animated Spider-Man. Considering that Captain America New World is set to release in February 2025, its debut trailer, as well as a first look at the Red Hulk, will also not be long in coming. On this note, we bid you farewell. Share in the comments what you think about the insiders regarding the World War of Hulks, how you feel about the internal opposition of Disney investors to the company's tolerant policy. And thanks for watching. See you later.